this week's Pilch Point with Avram Pilch is proudly powered by PureVPN. The best way to protect your privacy online is with PureVPN. You can hide your online activities, say goodbye to regional restrictions, and improve your streaming quality. Plus, it's available for almost all of your devices. Uh, you can get a special price and a 31-day money-back guarantee right now by going to pilchpoint.live slash purevpn. I know this is the wrong topic, but there apparently is a HoloLens version of Lemmings. Just got to put that out there. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking in the Microsoft store. Anyway, um, uh, at the beginning of the show, in the intro, we were talking about uh, the project that Avram has been up to lately and some of the, uh, the things surrounding it. Um, let's, get some, let's get into some details on that, Avram. Sure. So I wanted to talk, uh, well, I'm uh, doing some monitor work. Why? Well, first of all, I should say that probably the most important and sometimes underrated part of your computer setup is your monitor or monitors, uh, in my case, uh, four monitors, because, I mean, that's what you're interacting with, right? That's what you're looking at all day long. So if you can get a better looking monitor that gives you better picture quality, that's an immediate improvement to your quality of life. If you can increase the number of screens you have or get bigger screens or get higher resolution screens, that is immediate improvement to your quality of life. And of course, if you're a gamer, uh, which I'm not much of a PC gamer, um, then getting a higher refresh rate uh, would greatly improve your quality of life as well. S but in my case, I'm all about the productivity work. And for for a couple of years now, I've had a four monitor set up with two on the top and two on the bottom. But the two that I had on the top were my, uh, my two bottom monitors were two 28 inch uh, 4K Lenovo monitors. Uh, they were the L28U30, uh, also known as the S28U10, same thing, uh, 4K monitors. And, but my top monitors were monitors that I bought in 2012. They were Dell 24 inch uh, HD monitors and they were still working fine. But holiday season rolled around and I said, I want to do better. I want to improve what can I do to what can I get this holiday season to kind of improve my tech life. And, you know, I've rebuilt my computer this year. Yeah, I could get a better 3D printer or something, but, you know, that's not something I'm using every single day. Um, what, it, what would really change the game for me? Oh, getting going to changing those two old 1080p monitors to 4k and then i thought about it and i said you know not now if i'm going to get two new monitors do i want to get two that are exactly like the ones that i have which probably would have been the smart thing or do i want to try to get ones that are a little bit nicer the ones i had were like 250 4k monitors you know decent color decent you know sharpness but wouldn't it be nice to have ones that could do like wide color gamut and really pop uh you know good for graphics editing but just also nicer to look at so i was trying to figure out which monitor which two monitors i would get to replace my my top ones um and you know, would I just move the bottom ones to the top because the bottom left monitor is like the most important monitor for me because that's what one I sit directly in front of. Anyway, so I so I was looking around and I wanted a monitor that could do like, you know, wide a wide color gamut like at least ninety five percent of the DCI P three gamut, which is like the movie the the video color gamut and maybe something that could do 99% of Adobe RGB, because that is a sign that 
you have a lot of color uh, volume. Um, so the thing is, it's not expensive to buy a 4K, uh, a 4K monitor. What is expensive is if you want it to have a lot of color. Then you may be spending five, six, seven hundred dollars per monitor. What I discovered, and here's the nugget for um, for the audience, is you can save a lot of money and get a really good monitor if you're willing to buy a used monitor. Now, this is not universally true. It depends on what type of monitor you're looking for. If you're looking for a you know mid-range gaming monitor that operates at it's like you know, 2K resolution and 165 hertz, you really, there's no benefit to buying a used one. You can't get a used one cheaper than a new one. But if you want something that is like a, you know, high res professional monitor or even some really, you know, even some really uh, high res gaming monitors, a high end monitor, you can save a lot of money by getting, by finding an older one that may be just as good as what is around what's being made today. Uh, one thing that I learned in my journey is how long a monitor can actually last. So, um, Scott, you and I were talking about this the other day. What is the oldest monitor that you have? Um, my... <laughs> kind of wall of 27 inch HPs are I think 11 years old 10 or 11 years old and do you use them a lot all the time right so um, you know my two Dell monitors that I was replacing like they are 10 years old mm -hmm. you know I got them in 2012 maybe it was even 2011 I think it was 2012 they're 10 years old and nothing went wrong with them. They're perfectly fine. It's, I don't know if you remember when I was a kid, they used to have Carter's pajamas and they would say, if they could just stay little till their Carter's wear out. Well, if you, if you could just, you know, if my monitor is like the Carter's pajamas, it won't wear out. So um, if I could just, if they could just stay as the highest resolution until they wear out. But um, so a, an LED backlight in an LED backlit monitor, which is the most common type of backlight today, uh, can, uh, I have read in various places, can last between 80 and 100,000 hours. Um, if you were running it at eight hours a day, that would be uh, 34 years. Uh, now, that's, okay. of course, not... That is, of course, not counting other parts in the monitor that could possibly wear out, too. But everyone that I talk to, including myself, uh, has stories about a monitor that's lasted 10 plus years. Um, which means that, hey, these things last a long time. So buying a used one is not necessarily a problem. Like... You know, if it was used for three or four years, you could probably still get at least another 10 years out of it, by which point you may be wanting a better monitor. Um, but to be fair, the technology also doesn't change that often. I mean, if you think about it, right, um, the resolutions that people had on their monitors 10 years ago are still in use today. The... Um, the connectors that people used on their monitors 10 years ago are still in use today, or you can get a, an adapter. If your you know, monitor was VGA or DVI, you can easily get an adapter for them. So monitors can last a really long time and they can be with you through many different computers or upgrades of your, of your desktop. Uh, what ha what changes usually in the monitor world is things getting cheaper, you know, cheaper for higher resolution, cheaper for cheaper for bigger screen, and now cheaper for 
uh, for high refresh rate. And on the very high end, we are seeing uh, higher refresh rates. But, you know, because I think we're finally going to start seeing like 500 hertz refresh rates, where today I think 360 is the top. And, you know, on for 4K monitors, I think we just saw like a 240 hertz 4K come out. But um, if you are not, do not need the, the bleeding edge of, of refresh rates uh, in gaming, you can save quite a bit of money. So I looked around and, and my story was, hey, I, I want something that has a lot of, has wide color gamut. I want something that's 4K. I want something that's 27 or 28 inches because my monitor arm can't hold, um, unfortunately can't hold 30 or 32 inches or else I would get that. Um, so, uh, so I looked around and like, you know, I had two Lenovo monitors. I thought it'd be cool to get another one that kind of had the same aesthetic. And I found that Lenovo has a high color gamut monitor called the P27 U20. But the new, the current generation, the P27 U20 costs 550 bucks. And normally it's 700 bucks. That's a lot, particularly if I want to buy two monitors. Um, also, supposedly, there's some users report that the B27U20 uh, has coil wine issues where it makes noises when it's plugged in, which is oh. definitely not cool. Um, so I saw that the, uh, so I was looking around and on eBay, there was a company that pulls monitors from, um, from offices called North Bay. And they were selling a P27U10, the prior generation, which still is 99% Adobe RGB, still is, you know, like 98% DCI-P3 um, and for $200, you know, in supposedly perfect condition. So I said, I will, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to see what, I'm going to see if it says that if this is, this is, eBay says that if these things are not working, you know, not working, you can demand your money back. So I ordered it for 200 bucks. A few days later it came and man, I love this monitor. It's like the best monitor I've ever had. It's so, it's so good. The, the colors really pop. The text is super sharp and it's easier to read for some reason. I don't know if it's the pixel density is just a little bit better but it's much easier to read the text on this than on the 28 inch Lenovo's I had already. It's like one inch smaller, but it's easier to read the text. Is it that you just by shrinking at one inch, you're getting a higher PPI? I don't think so. I think it's just better quality panel. I think it's just a much better panel. Um, so it looked absolutely fantastic. And I started to, you know, look around to see like where else are people, like, is this a common thing that you could save money by buying a used monitor? And indeed it is, as long as you kind of go into it knowing what you're looking for and what is worth getting used. So you want, there's several different places you could buy a used monitor. You could get one on, from a wide variety of sellers on eBay, including uh, companies that do nothing but this or nothing but kind of pulling, you know, kind of e-cycling monitors from businesses, uh, which are definitely, if it comes from a business office environment, it's actually probably in better shape than if it came from someone's house, probably. Um, and, um, you know, obviously places like that will, you know, offer you some guarantees. Um, but there's also uh, Amazon warehouse where you can get stuff, but the prices there are not quite as good as, as eBay. Lenovo and Dell have outlets uh, where prices can be kind of variable. Uh, there's also a, a, a website called Back Market, which sells uh, kind of used and refurbished uh, computer goods. And I, you know, I would feel weird about buying a lot of different uh, components used you know, maybe a laptop, maybe a, you know, 
I, I might feel a little bit more hesitant about that thing has been carried around. It has a battery. It's got things that, you know, the keyboard that, that wears out. Um, and of course, a laptop or something like that, if you get one that's several years old, it's that much more obsolete. It's got a processor that's old now, whatever. But a monitor, I think a monitor is the perfect thing uh, for somebody to buy used uh, because it doesn't have any moving parts. The technology doesn't change that drastically. They last forever. Um, and, you know, it can be with you for a long time to come. So you just need to, obviously, if you're interested in buying a used monitor, uh, well, actually, I think the first question you should ask is, what kind of monitor do I want? And can I save money by buying it used? Uh, it seems, obviously, as I said before, that professional grade monitors, ones with lots, you know, that are used for uh, for editing, for like video and photo editing, for you know, things where you want good color, those are actually some of the best things to buy used because a lot of those are pulled from offices. The technology on those doesn't change that radically over the years unless you're going for something like OLED, which is super expensive. Um, so, for example, um, another example. Uh, LG makes a 5K monitor that's very popular with Mac users. Um, LG's 5K ultrafine monitor. It first came out in 2019, but they still make it today. A new uh, copy of that monitor is uh, 1,200 bucks. They're still making it new, but it's 1,200 bucks. You can find one that is uh, in good shape uh, for 850. Now, that's, maybe that's still a lot to spend on a used monitor, but if you buy it from a place that is reputable, uh, and of course, eBay and every a lot of these other places, if you get it, it comes in the mail, and it's not as described, it's defective, you can send it right back and get your money back. Um, so you're willing to kind of take the risk of the hassle of having to ship it back. Um, you could save a lot of money. Uh, some places offer you a free, you know, year or two year warranty on the monitor that you get, but I wouldn't put a lot of stock in that because those third party warranties are, you know, not necessarily coming from the company that made it. You know, if it's a Lenovo monitor, it's not a Lenovo warranty. Uh, and uh, frankly, my take on this is when you get a used monitor, hook it up, use it for a few days, make sure you don't. Don't leave it in the box too long. Use it for a few days. Really kind of burn it in. Make sure it works. And then, you know, chances are it's going to keep working. Especially if it's used, because if it was defective from the factory, that defect would have already been, fa been, been found. So they, in my experience, not a lot of monitors just wear out. You know, if it's working and you don't drop it, it's probably going to keep working. Well, that's, that's obviously that's good information. Um, sometimes, not always, the, the, the plural of anecdote can be data. Uh, <laughs> you and I have right. both had, had very good experience with, with long-term monitor usage, and it's good to hear that, you know, technologically it does work out that way. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, honestly, I have not seen a lot of good repair data or something on, like, the lifespan of a monitor aside from the backlight, but the backlight is that part of the monitor that's supposed to wear out. And that's good for 80 to a hundred thousand, you know? Uh, so now could there be something else in your monitor that breaks like the power supply? Sure. Possibly. Um, I mean, but on the other hand, who knows whether it would have broken, you know, I don't know would have broken on a new system. So on a new one, I mean, I think that for a lot of things, there is a limited, a lot of things you buy, there's a limited lifespan. For example, you'd be crazy to buy a used, used storage device. Like sure. don't buy used SSD. Don't buy used hard drive. Those things are going to wear out. Like there's a limited number of write cycles on an SSD, although it's pretty high. And you really don't want, uh, and you really could hit that limit in a few years. But um, I don't know. It just seems like 
a monitor is, you know, obviously there's always some degree of risk involved, but it seems like you can really mitigate that risk by buying from a reputable vendor, making sure that you test it uh, and, you know, send it back if it doesn't, doesn't work. You can really, um, you know, save yourself a lot of money by buying used monitor. That's, as I said before, that doesn't work for every situation. There are certain uh, classes of monitor where buying it used just doesn't make sense. It's like it's no cheaper. So why would you do it? I don't think you should consider buying used monitor unless you're going to save at least $100 over the cost of an equivalent new monitor. Um, you know, and by equivalent, I mean, it may not be necessarily the same model because it may be the, the used one you're buying is the last generation or something, but you should, unless you're going to save a hundred dollars, at least a hundred dollars, don't, don't do it. But, um, you know, there's a chance to save, to save quite a bit of money. And if you're buying, if you're like me and you're trying to buy, you know, several different monitors, then, uh, maybe you can't. Maybe it's a little bit pricey to, to you know buy the seven hundred dollar one when you can get get it for two hundred bucks. So I liked that monitor so much that uh, you know, but I couldn't find another another one being sold used at the time. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh yeah, I'll get a new Black Friday. I'll get a new Dell monitor that is similar, uh, a Dell U twenty seven twenty. QM, which is supposed to be fairly wide color gamut and also 27 inch 4K monitor, and that was on sale for 350 brand new. Well, I got it, and I have to say that the brand new Dell, the colors on it just are not nearly as good as the old Lenovo. Uh, so much so, you know, I kept the Dell because it has uh, some redeeming features. It has HDR, which the which is nice to have on one of my monitors. But then I was like, oh man, I'd really like to have another one of these great Lenovo's. And I saw someone else selling one on eBay for 159 bucks. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna get that and replace one of my other monitors with this. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Although one of my tips is make sure you look at how much the shipping is because it was 159 bucks, but the shipping wasn't exactly free. So it's going to be more like 240 bucks, but um, even there, you know, to get a really, really good professional class monitor, um, you know, I think, I think, you know, it's, it's worth, uh, it's worth it. So that's my advice. Consider if you want to save money and you're looking for a monitor, particularly a professional monitor or high end gaming, uh, for example, I saw an Asus ROG P32UQ that was a thousand dollars when it came out uh, in early 2022. Uh, now we're seeing, um, you know, pre-owned ones for seven hundred dollars. So, um, you know, that you could definitely save money if you're looking for something that is on the high end. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a huge discount right there. 30%. Right. Now, that's, I mean, that's, that's yeah. a big difference. It is. Now, you know, obviously you, you got to, you know, make sure you buy it from a reputable place and, sure. you know, test it out. But yes, you could save, uh, you know, you could save $300 on that. So, um, so, you know, because I think they just, it just came out earlier this year and they've already kind of replaced the model with a slightly different model. Mm. But, you know, it's still good, right? I mean, like the changes in monitors are very often very subtle from one generation to another. So, you know, it's it's not like getting a new process, you know, buying an old processor or something. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Um, obviously, I assume you're, put, you're, uh, you're working on a piece Involving yeah, all this probably tomorrow. Yes, all the tips I just told you, my whole monitor drama and story, will be on Tom's hardware probably tomorrow. Fantastic. Well, as always, Avram, I appreciate it. Um, you know, with with strike and everything, we are we always looking at monitors. It's a big. 
big part of our normal, you know, operating. We've got, I think we've, oh, I own more televisions than a normal human being should because of that <laughs> business at this point. Uh, but monitors as well. So, you know, that's, it's, it's good advice. It's something uh, that we'll take uh, into consideration over there. And um, when I'm ready to fully update the, uh, the tree out in Mission <laughs> Control uh, yeah. as well. And uh, as always, I look forward to what we talk about after the first of the year. Hello, YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Pilch Point with Avram Pilch. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to our channel, and of course, hit the notification bell, since subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. Uh, and if you've got topics you'd like us to discuss in the future, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, if you don't want to follow us on YouTube, that's okay. There's a lot of other ways that you can follow our content. You can find all of that by going to plughitslive.com slash subscribe. There you'll see all of our shows and all the different ways that you can watch, listen, and follow along.